Hey everyone, it's me, Anime Gamers here, bringing you more so my E3 predictions for E3 2014, and like what I'm looking for, what I'm hoping to see, and yeah, let's get started. Now I made a list here, like, on my thing it's going to go down. For starters, I'm just going to get this out of the way, with mainly EA and Ubisoft. I am actually looking forward to the EA conference. Mainly because I'm excited for the new Battlefront. Like it's been two, we've fuck. It's been like almost I think around ten years since Battlefront Two came out, and it's about time to get a freaking new one. I am looking for that game. And I do have the gut feeling they are going to announce the next Mass Effect. Ubisoft, like I'm not looking forward to their conference really that much. Like they're probably gonna get Aisha Tyler as a host, which. I honestly get really annoyed by her, in fact, to be honest, I am not really much a fan of stand-up comedy, I kind of wish that Ubisoft went shooting like so much comedy in their conferences to the point where it became annoying and it's just making me scream in my head, get to the fucking point already, like, I'm playing through Watch Dogs, like, at the moment, and I'm enjoying the game, game, but they just, like, don't have enough to interest me, like, I didn't really get that. I didn't, I have Far Cry 4, but I didn't, I mean Far Cry 3, but I didn't beat it. I'm not really that excited for Far Cry 4. I'm burnt out on Assassin's Creed. So, yes. And the fact that they were releasing two of them this year, Comet and Unity, I think is what they're called. That's just fucking insane. So, yeah. That's mainly what comes with for I'm looking forward to with EA and not really looking forward to at all with Ubisoft. Now let's talk about the first three. I mean the three first parties, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. At worst, I think all three companies will have a decent conference. However, I'm going to mention this with Sony. My hype for their conference is dying down. Now I do have a PS4, but the main thing I was looking forward to with their conference was details on King Hearts from Final Fantasy 15 and then Square Enix had confirmed the other day that they aren't going to be showing those games at E3, they will not be there in any form. And now a rumor is popping up that they're going to announce the Lightning Collection for PS4 and Xbox One. And if you guys, if you guys fucking dare to announce that, if you guys fucking dare, I will make an entire dedicated rant video on why I think that is a really fucking dumb idea. So yeah. The next thing is now, yeah, it's like with Sony, I can actually, you now with their conference, I can see a decent bit of it being dedicated to Project Morpheus, like at least one third of it, like getting some details, like know some games, games are going maybe coming out for it. That will or will work with it, though I don't see it coming out this year. I see it being released in 2015. I think definitely that we're going to get more concrete details on PlayStation now, like how exactly will work, work, and I think there's a small chance that by the time the conference ends, it'll be available in me. Lee after the conference ends, and I imagine we're going to see definitely in a chart of four. I think after like the demo, the guy who's demonstrating it or someone at Naughty Dog would be like, Oh, yeah, you could go and pick up Last of Us Remaster tomorrow. Like, I can see it actually, I can see it even though they deny that rumor. The Last of Us Remaster will be released this Tuesday. I could definitely see that, but I'm still not sure what Sony has some. To show, like, or it got delayed to 2015. Some of my hype, I was at first looking forward to that game, and my hype died, be died because of some of the things the developer said. That's like, so if the story's going to be a big focus in this game, then why the fuck should I just buy, shouldn't buy the game and wow, just watch like a cutscene theater on YouTube, like a let's play or something? So yeah, it's like I'm now skeptical about the Ori 1886 and Drive Club is like all they have. Hopefully Sony does announce at least a couple of tiles that'll be coming out this year. 
and yeah, now let's go to Microsoft. I do think Microsoft will probably, probably definitely put a good focus on games. I don't want to see like any apps or system updates like mention at any of them. Like, I just want these things to be focused on games, nothing more. I should mention that. Like, no updates for these systems, no apps. Like, mention like later down the line at E3, like during the show floor or like a Q&A. But don't fucking mention them in fucking conferences because to me that's just padding, padding to make up for the fact that you don't really have much games. So yeah. Now, with Microsoft, I do think we're going to definitely get a couple of these new IPs now. One franchise, I'm not sure which, will probably get a revived, and we are going to get. And the, these two things have been rumored for a while, and I don't think only one of them is going to come true. Number one, Halo 2 Anniversary, and number two, the Halo Collection. Now, in, the Halo Collection is a rumor thing that will include Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4 for like an HD collection for Xbox One. And to be quite honest, if that rumor is true, then it's released this year, then I'm buying Xbox One this year. That must seal, seal the deal for me at Microsoft. Got that. Now on to Nintendo. Easily the game just I'm looking forward to period at the most this year at E3 is so the U, U, which I'm just gonna cut out for now until we get the actual name. I believe it's been confirmed to be shown up at this year's E3. I I could see him going for like a, an art style that's in between the dark, like the realistic dark art style of Skyward Sword and, and the cartoonish colorful art style of Fulmer. I could see some of the U art style going for like in between that. I guess like somewhere around mine of Skyward Sword, but would also do its own thing. So yeah. Um, so the U is actually my most anticipated game at E3, so I am excited to see that. And they're going to show, and they still say that they're going to more so, so have a two Q&As, one for Smash Brothers and one for a unannounced 3DS game. Now I think a lot of the main Smash Brothers details will be revealed at that Q&A, like at least the returning characters like Ness and Captain Falcon. I think their confirmations will be revealed during that Q&A. Hey. While dates for both the 3S and Wii U version, plus any newcomers, will be revealed during the digital event. And onto that secret 3, 3S game, I, I'm willing to bet and hoping it to be Majora's Mask 3D, because ever since they announced Opening of Time 3D, like back when the 3S was announced, that I have been waiting for. So, three years at this point, I've been waiting for Majora's Mask 3D. And hopefully, it will get made soon. It will get get made, announced that this year's E3, and be released by the end of the year, hopefully. And last bit of things, I definitely don't think Nintendo will bring up the whole quality of life thing they mentioned at Fester's Me at E3, like, it will not be there in any form, form because what I think it is, it's not game related. I think it's going to be like some sort of fitness hardware or program that Nintendo's working on to more so make money outside of the gaming industry aside from like merchandise. So yeah, that was just some of my E3 thoughts, predictions, and what I'm looking forward to. What were your guy? What do you guys expect? Expect and what are you guys hoping for? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, like always, if you guys like this feel, leave it a like. If you dislike it, leave it a dislike. And yeah, I'm Emmy Gamer signing out. Peace.